the truth of the matter is that it's really a function of the US rather than a function of individual stock exchanges not performing well. Because the US really has that density of capital. They are the retail investors. They are the richest country in the world for now. And then you have all this liquid wealth, obviously, that's there. And they still have that wealth on a per capita basis. So imagine that the US stock exchange as a result is hugely supported by not just the global institutions, but also retail investors with a lot of capital who are investing in ETFs and the overall stock market. So basically what you're having is that this vortex of capital is basically sucking up more and more capital from the rest of the world. And so everybody who want to list globally will pretty much list in the US stock exchanges, the New York stock exchange or NASDAQ because a Japanese institution can trade on a NASDAQ easily, but it may be hard for them to access a Japanese retail investor to access the Singapore stock exchange, for example, because you don't have the same market coverage, you don't have the same trading tools. 